Okay, I'll get a shot of the guitar, hoping that it'll take this and I can use it as the, but it never does. This is a, what do you think it is? Before I say anything, I've played it before, but look where the input jack is on the back. So it's not like uh, Rhodes where that, where it'd be right here, it's on the back. Look at this, it's, it's a mean looking badass. The only thing I did to it was uh, put the mirrored pick guard on. The only thing I've done, Wait, who do you think makes this? It's a Floyd Rose friggin' Flying V. And I got this for a zero dollar. Look how this sits in. So it, there's no reason, no thing so you can pull back. They just carved the whole damn thing out. I think this looks like a badass. It's badass. Floyd Rose, made in the USA, made in the USA, see it says it right there, so, and this comes with a, uh, the top of the line Floyd, the 1000 I think it is, or whatever, which isn't my favorite, but it's still good, and the only, the only thing I don't like is one knob. Because one knob gives you no options as far as, and I, you know, I love doing that. I love to yank on that toggle. I like to yank on the wang bar, and I like to yank on the toggle. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm sorry this is so low. I got to get a different position for this camera, but here you go. I want you to see it. It's badass, man. This thing is badass guitar. I don't know because I said that that this will be acceptable for children. Um, does it have it? No. No serial number, just designed by Floyd Rose Guitars USA. As far as I know, this is made in the U.S. There's no serial number on it. There's nothing. This says Floyd Rose. What does it say? Floyd Rose something series. Man, I'm blind as a bat. You don't see this. Okay. Floyd Rose Discovery Series V V24 uh, OT. Uh, which means uh, V. It's a V. It's got 24 frets, and it's got the crumb. I think that's all it means. But it's bitching. See, it's a V, but it's... I love this input back here. I think that's really cool. Especially if you're doing gigs and got wireless. No one's going to see anything. The thing will go beep. You can totally hide it. Um, I got the back off for some reason. I don't know, but there was a back there. Um... Yeah, I still have the little things on, you know, the little pieces of, I haven't, I barely played this because I, I got it, I didn't do anything to it, I haven't put strings on it, like better strings, whatever, Ugh, I'm going to move over a little bit, uh, I've done nothing, I just started playing it and that's it, so, Let's see. <laughs>
You know how pissed off I get when a effing string breaks on a Floyd? That's it. You'll never see this guitar again until... I don't know. So, <laughs> drink it in. Because, dickhead... Thing just bought it's a one way self a one way ticket to Caseville. when a string breaks it, you don't even know that's why I was so afraid to playing on stage because my baby was that star and if I had to play another guitar especially on stage I'd have freaked out man so it always sucked so you know who this is Vinny Wiz Vincent no one remembers that. When they first announced him, it was... Vinny Wiz Vincent would be replacing Ace Frehley as the lead guitarist for KISS. And, and we're like, Vinny Wiz, what is he, pee on stuff? No, he's the Egyptian wizard. Which Paul made up. This is all Paul's thing, you know. Vinny didn't get a say in anything. And I don't care what anybody says or thinks. Well, this is my opinion. He is the best guitarist that was ever, ever in KISS. Ace made KISS, and he was he's the perfect, typical, Les Paul Marshall, you know, doing cool licks that you'll remember. This guy saved their ass. He, he started writing those songs on the little EP Killers. Uh, what's that? Partners in Crime. Badass song, man. Then he was Vincent. And then Creatures of the Night. He just, he just forced himself upon Kiss until they're like, okay, we got to do t some tour dates. Well, let's put them in makeup and go. Because they'd already have the Fox, so what are they going to do? 
when I saw them play Creatures of the Night Tour 82 at the Universal Amphitheater, <laughs> oh, it's a point, I guess. Um, the Motley Crew open. I got a few shots off with the camera, and then boop, nothing of Kiss. But when I I was on Vinny's side, and I don't know if you guys remember, the, like two tank treads, and they would come out, and that's where it, people they little, you know, they'd come out into the audience about 20 feet on these treads, and then you know the tank the turret shot. It, it was cool. It it did its thing. And that's when Gene started doing the, you know, the light coming down. That's when he was still cool. I mean, he'd been, he'd been cool. Then he'd been a baked potato, the baked potato look in Dynasty. Then the Elder was just stupid because he used the coked out uh, Bob Ezrin to, you know, rely on and their stupid egos. And they put out a, the biggest piece of crap ever. But some people like that album. I don't mind it as much now, but I still, it's still not my favorite at all. Anyway, so when I went to see him, I'm like, oh my gosh, this guy is unbelievable because he had a, he had a, the modern sound. He's he's using modded amps, but he can't run it. Like he, you could see him during his solo. They would let him loose. And it, the amps would like have extra gain, and he's just shredding. But he's not shredding just like this. He's shredding and finger picking. So it's like <laughs> so he could feel it. Like is he sweeping? Is he sweeping and doing a pulse like thing? No, he's playing so fast and doing finger picking. He called it pulsing. Like it was like pulsing, and he'd go crazy and run around the stage. Not as much when he had the boots on, you know, and the makeup. I still thought he was friggin' great. I'm like, see ya, Ace. You know, you blew it, and this guy's blowing your doors off. So, I always thought uh, Vinny was cool. Like a week or two after he. Uh, he left Kiss, they got rid of him, whatever. See, Gene never got him. Gene never got it. Paul didn't get it. Eric did because he was younger and he knew, you know, look at this is what this guy is. You've got yourself somebody that's really good. You need to put your damn egos aside and let this guy in, and he's going to really help you because the albums they wrote with. Uh, Bob Kulik or Bruce Kulik. Bob, Bruce, same thing. Uh, one has hair, one doesn't. They're both bland guitar players. Session players. That's all they are. So they get a guy that will do exactly what he's told to do, and he will play exactly what he's told to play, and he will stay in his corner like a good boy, like Tommy does. You, you play the space man and, and do it good, and you know, you get your paycheck. Vinny was a little more because Vinny knew that he had saved their butt on creatures and lick it up. Lick it up is a huge album, totally unexpected by everybody. Because I'm like, oh my gosh, their makeup and they're putting the make no makeup. Pit. Oh, but you know, I saw him at. Uh, Long Beach Arena that tour, Look It Up tour, and, you know, it was sold out. Black and Blue opening, how weird is that? Tommy playing with, who else opened? Some, anyway, so, a couple weeks after he was out of Kiss, I, uh, me and my first wife, Margie, uh, we were down at the Glendale Galleria uh, with our baby. Vinny and uh, or Piggy and we ran it I, I'm sitting in the food court just sitting there and I see this guy with a bright pink shirt that says Jackson on it I'm like Jackson guitars who the hell 
and he's got high heel boots on, you know, skin tight jeans. And I'm like, is that a no? That's a guy. That's Vinnie Vincent. Holy crap! So I got up to start walking towards. I hadn't met anybody in Kiss yet. This is what eighty four. There's a date here. Eleven thirty uh, eighty four. So. Yeah, I hadn't met anybody yet in KISS. Uh, you know, I saw him in the 70s, 77, 78. Uh, I saw them on The Elder. The only thing they ever did with The Elder, live, with Ace, was um, that uh, Saturday Night Live rip-off show, Fridays. They played there, so me and my friend uh, Kevin Davis cut school and went down there and saw him play, and uh, it was cool. And I'm on the I'm on when they pan back to the audience. It's stupid because when they do the audience shot, they're they're they weren't playing, so we were just. But they have ah! But everybody's like, and I'm sitting there, you know, trying to look cool with my blonde hair and you know, this look. So, you know, there you go. Um, and I thought, friggin' A, man, that guy is an unbelievable kiss bullet. And if they're going to get this idiot, because they already announced that Bruce was going to take, I think, no, it was Mark St. John, that's right. But they hadn't announced Mark St. John. That's, yeah, that's because Mark St. John went in, did animalize, and then couldn't tour. And they took Bruce out there, or Bob, Bruce, and had him sitting on the side of the stage. And I don't know, they had Mark sitting on the side of the stage, and Bruce just kept playing until Mark was going to feel better. And he never felt better, and he ended up dying. You know, that's really big. A lot of people die. <laughs> you leave Kiss, you die. Or you get really fat. The thing is, I went up to Vinny, this is the first time. And he gave, this is it, to Margie and Mike, uh, best wishes and Merry Christmas, Vinnie Vincent. I totally forgot I had Vinnie Vincent's autograph even. My mom had it in her room. I'm like, what are you doing with that? He, she's like, well, this, cause, so I guess it was in a this and the frame had fallen down in behind something years ago because she sleeps in my old room and then, you know there's posters and stuff I just boop, and left and that was it I didn't you know I didn't bring the posters with me obviously because girls weren't into you know you hanging up posters but anyways it was in this frame and I, everything I'm like this is just crazy. I can't believe I actually got Vinnie Vincent's autograph. So there you go. Vinnie Vincent to my wife and me. Uh, and we told him uh, that we named our son Vincent after him. And he was really flattered. But it's not true because he was named after Alice. But you're sitting there talking to this guy. What are you going to say? Yeah, of course he's named after you. <laughs> But, you know, so he was very cool. So that was that first time. Then we ran into him like two or three more times. And the first time I was freaking out. So I sent my wife up to go and ask him for an autograph. And then she's like, come here. And I get up and I go over. And I was shaking. I don't know why. And, uh, you know, because he was in Kiss. And I, you know... Motley Crue and all these, you know, it's all you think. Well, he's all he's known all these other people, but there was something still about Kiss that was that was untouchable. I, you know, and so when I actually it was just me and him and my wife sitting there talking, his wife was shopping and he had his two little uh, daughters with him. And he was pushing the stroller, a double stroller. And we were like, you know, this is our baby. His name is Vincent. Named after you. He's like, oh, that's so sweet. You know, and then he was a, 
he talked the same way kind of he does, but a little more tough. Not as effeminate as we saw in these videos a couple months ago, but I feel really bad because this the wife he was married to, when I met him, she was murdered. And he's had a really rough time. And he doesn't need Kiss, you know, Gene and Paul, the idiot duo, slamming him. He's a good guy. Or was a good guy. He might have some problems, but hey, Gene, you got problems too. And Paul, you didn't have a flipping ear most of your life. And your main concern, above everything else, was making sure that no one could see that you had a freak ear or whatever. <laughs> well, but he's got an ear now, and I, I think they took it off his ass. So he's got an he's got hears out of his ass. He can't really hear, but he can hear a little bit now that he's got this ear constructed, and they did some kind of thing, and because. He had a therapist when he was a kid, before Kiss made it. He kept the same therapist all the way into the 80s. And he's like, you know, it's still bugging me. I need an ear. And he's like, are you kidding me? You're a multimillionaire. You're the, you're the biggest rock star in 